Hello friends and greetings for the day. Welcome back to another episode of Testing in Nutshell. This is Neesh Kumar Singh and today we are continuing with the Jira tutorials. As a part of previous tutorial, we understood that how exactly you can add an additional column to the scrum board of your Jira project. But at any point of time, it might be the necessity to be included as a part of your project when it comes to the status of different work item types which you create within your Jira project. The status, I'm talking about do, do, in progress and done. By default in your Jira project, you get three status to be applied for any work item type like task, user stories, epics, which you create. But what if your organization needs something more unique or specific to the organization standards to push a task from to do to something else? Then, of course, the Jira provides you that platform to customize the status as a part of the workflow customization in order to add additional status to the workflow. Now, of course, that would be very important for any specific organization to have their own specific status to be included in order to have a control flow defined for a task item to move from different status to another one. Now, that's what we will be covering as a part of this tutorial and understanding more about how to update the status as a part of the Jira project for your work item types. Let's get started and understand in more details. As a part of this tutorial, we will be understanding how we can configure or set up the various status for a particular work item type or issues in Jira project. In our recent tutorial, that is just the previous tutorial, we have covered how exactly we can configure these columns as a part of the Scrum board. And we understood that these columns can also be added as per the user needs or the organization expectations at any point of time. And definitely you can add it as per your you know, specific standards and needs based on the process. So we added two columns, that is testing and in review. And now you can see them here in the Scrum board. But what happens if I click on a particular task and I see that there is the details of a particular work item or task and I have these options here. So of course, remember that when you created the columns in a scrum board, you also get this added to your workflow automatically. That means each column represents one of the status for your work item type. And at any, any point of time when you include a new column to your scrum board, it automatically gets added to the status. What if I want to add a status, which could be some of the minor stages about a particular work item type progress, but I don't want a column for that. So let's understand today that how exactly the same thing can be done. For example, now to begin with, of course, you need to be in your active sprint and again, go to the board settings to modify that. So let's click on the three dots once again and click on the board settings option. Now this board setting option gives you two provisions here. One is to add columns and one is to add status. Add columns will definitely add the column and also include one of the object as a part of your workflow to showcase the status of the project or the work item. But add status only adds the status to the workflow but does not include a column. So if you only want to add one status to your workflow, use the button add status here. But if you want to add status as well as column, you have to go with add column. So add column will add two things at the same time. Add status will only add the status to your workflow. Let's create one. For example, I want to create a inbuilt process which is having a sub stage where, for example, a code is written by the developer. Uh, it goes to you know review, and from the review, it comes to that uh, the outcome size of some refactoring is required or some changes are required to meet the expectations of the uh, acceptance criteria, right? So in that case, the refactoring or modification of the code has to be done. So let me name this status as uh, refactor. And now I just want to include the status, not the column, okay? And the category under which it will be referred to as is in progress because the task is still under progress. You can choose up to whatever you want, like it is before getting onto the work or is it after the everything is done? So which section does it fall under? Which category does it fall under? So of course, refactor will still be under in progress and click on add. 
Now you will see that unmapped, unmapped status, which means that it's not mapped to the columns which you see here. And it is a separate independent status. That's all. Just go back to the board and uh, click on any of your task or work item. And uh, let's see that. Yeah, we have a work item type here as a task here, TIN10. And let's go to the drop down. Now we see that there's a refactor option also being shown to us as a part of the workflow. And even if you go to the workflow, we can see that that the workflow includes Z factor here. Okay. But yeah, definitely we will talk about rearranging them as and then how exactly it is required as for your cycle. Okay, so yeah, refactor is observed here. But at the same time, which we just discussed, it does not include as one of your columns here. Okay, so just remember one thing. When you go to the board settings, you just need to make sure that what is that you want to do? Is that you want to include a column with the status in your workflow or just the status in your workflow but not the column? So if you just want the status, go for add status. You want status as well as column on your scrum board, go for column. It will do the both the things at the same time. Well, that's all from this particular tutorial team. Should you have anything else, feel free to comment below. I'm always there to address your queries and respond to them well. Till then, keep learning, keep exploring, keep understanding the context. Thanks for watching the video team and happy learning.